Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And today Google has added an update to the Android P beta. So it is now on the third beta. Now there are only very minor changes and I would say one major improvement to this beta. Uh, so I do wanna cover what is new in this and talk about the major feature, which is the addition of a night mode option, which I know so many of you have wanted. I even, I wanna take credit for the addition of night mode. If you saw my last video on the beta two, had a little joke, let's check it out. And finally, Google has added a dark mode. All you have to do is jump into settings, go to display, and no, I'm just kidding, there's no dark mode. Now I'm totally kidding, not taking credit for the night mode, but hey, maybe Google saw it. Anyways, I have the third beta installed on my Google Pixel 2. Also, I have a new intro. I wanna get your feedback, so drop a comment, let me know what you think. Let's roll the intro and get started on the video. To begin, as always, would like to jump and show you the Android version 9, which was shown in the last beta. Also, the Easter egg when you quickly tap on that is still the same, just the trippy animation where you can pinch to zoom. But there is a new icon, and that would be down at the bottom left-hand corner. That back button icon is different. It used to be a full triangle uh, pointing to the left. Now it's just a couple lines conjoining uh, to make that back button. And that back button only shows up when there is a uh, screen to go back to. And just to show you, I am not making another joke. Let's jump into settings, go into display, advanced, and device theme. Right here, device theme, jump on it. Uh, automatic, based on the wallpaper, light or dark mode. There is a dark mode now, there we go. Now, you'll notice the settings app didn't get themed at all. Nothing is dark or different about it once I selected that. Now, only a few things things get themed at the moment, and I believe that's going to change. This is still a beta. Uh, I believe they're just introducing it, and I'm guessing uh, once the official release comes, it will get a bit updated. So right up at the top, right away, you'll notice these icons are all themed dark. So that is one of them. Also, when you swipe up to go to your app drawer, that background is dark as well. And one more thing I've noticed, when you jump over to the Google Cards, that, over, that outline is dark. Not the cards itself, themselves, just that outline. So I think it's great that Google is listening to everyone, getting their feedback on this beta. So you'll see I switch back to light. Here are the icons. Also notice the edit and settings icon right here are a little bit different. These icons in here got a bit of an overhaul. Also, I would like to actually jump into storage settings, I believe. And you'll see here these icons on the left all got a bit of an overhaul. So just kind of keeping the UI consistent, very slight minor changes. I believe the rotate icon got changed. If you don't have auto rotate on, you can go ahead and swipe over and you'll see this icon pop up in the bottom right. It will actually animate and let you know if you tap it, things will start to rotate. As you can see, there's that animation. If you tap on it, it will rotate the display. That's only if auto rotate is off. Changing the volume now in Android P just changes the media volume, which is a fantastic addition. But if you do jump into these sound settings, you'll notice the call volume gets a specific setting. So when you are in a call, uh, you know how loud the earpiece is going to be. So when you answer a call, if you don't want it to always be loud and you have to kind of edit it all the time, you can customize that on the fly. Now, I don't remember if this was here before, but when I swipe over to these apps, a gray bar shows up at the bottom. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember that gray bar being there in the last beta, uh, but you still have that swipe over action to quickly swi uh, swap between apps. You'll see I can just quickly swap between two, or if I go ahead and uh, hold down, I can swipe between a bunch of different apps. And last but not least, uh, swiping down the notification tray, tapping on the clock, we'll get to the clock app. I don't think that was there in the last beta, so that got an update as well. And honestly, that's about it. That's everything I could find as an update in the beta. So of course, there's going to be performance improvements. They've added things for developers for their app development and the, and the like. So uh, definitely stay tuned for more coverage. Once the official update drops, I will keep you updated. I'll make a video for sure. So make sure you are subscribed so you're notified of that. And that's really about it. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.